So I'm back here at the Liberty Mountain Intramural Complex and uh, we're just getting ready to take off. Gonna head up the stairs and go up the mountain and then I'm gonna make that first left that I've showed you in a previous video and that'll wind me up to, to the top of the mountain. And, uh, and then, then we're gonna hit some new trails. Now today, I do have the walking stick because uh, uh, we've had a lot of we had a big rainstorm on Wednesday so I'm expecting some slick conditions so I'm gonna need this third point of uh, luckily I got a shirt pocket so I'm able to uh, put the the uh, car keys in there got uh, so I got a hand free for the GoPro here and one for the walking stick let's get going so an electrician can appreciate that uh, electrical work coming up to the lamp now we've come up the mountain here uh boy i bet this looks cool at night with those lights on but as you can see we're coming up on the turn here and look at those leaves so this is why i got the walking stick today it's a little bit drier than i thought it would be of course we are on the side of a mountain so i imagine all that water flowed pretty good but this is what we're getting ready to go up so uh and then this will take me up to uh another couple trail inches that we have not done but i think i've got this trail on the video in the past thought i'd get a, this on the video you can tell it's not a well-traveled trail and i'm taking it nice and slow because uh, you could you could slip on something underneath these leaves and it's kind of uh you know when they cut it in i imagine it was a lot flatter but you're actually leaning down the mountain with your feet so each time you put your foot whoop, see there you go i just hit a root slipped on that so let's it's going to be slow going until we get uh, to the trail i'm thinking about now the last time i was here i went up that because that took me up to the top so we haven't hiked this i hope this doesn't take me back down the mountain let's uh let's just try it out because I, I it's not the trail i wanted to do the hike you get is not the one you expect. So I thought that left fork might take me back down to the, the intramural complex, but I guess you could take this if that's a trail right there. Uh, nothing's really marked on here, but uh, I'm, I'm assuming it looks like I'm heading back up the mountain now. And you can see the footing. I mean, this is a treacherous trail to hike for sure, especially going up the mountain. Uh, but uh, so it looks like... Uh, well, I'll try not to slip on these leaves and cut the video off right there. All right, three times now probably would have fallen without my walking stick. So it's, uh, it's real slow going here. Just trying to keep the one thing that does worry me. Got a quick story for you. <laughs> I bet I'm the only person you know that's peed on a rattlesnake. Because uh, one day I was hiking and uh, the only good thing about being out in the forest is a guy you can just pull up somewhere and uh, so i'm sitting there peeing and the reason why i was thinking about this and, and then i looked down and this snake was looking up at me i said oh my god i started backing up slowly i can't believe he didn't strike me i mean can you imagine peeing on a snake and he didn't hit, hit you you know with them fangs but one thing that worries me on a trail like this those snakes blend in real well with these brown colors here and you don't know one could be underneath them leaves so I'm trying to kind of move on the left here rather than hiking directly through the leaves. Uh, now, I mean, I, more than likely I see him and I can take the, the walking stick. That's why another reason a walking stick's important is to poke in the leaves in front of you and then hopefully you'll get them to strike the stick before they strike you. But man, you can see this trail. You gotta be a billy goat to climb this thing. This reminds me of that psycho trail, except not quite as bad. All right, let's keep on going. So that trail brought us up to a place we've been many times, well, not many times on previous videos. You know, here's Champion Road. And then of course, this is a detour. You can get up to the uh, gazebo up there. We made a video there. And see here, you, you know, this is where you debate. This is, uh, I think this is that alternate path. So, uh, but I am seeing a trail, you know, and we've done this uh, peak to peak trail, but the one that I don't believe I have done in the past is going to be this 1971. Now, why they, you know, they always had, you know, uh, I don't know, flowery names for everything. I don't know why this would be just named 
1971. It's only 0.6 miles, but that should get us back in to the woods and, uh, and then maybe we can pick up some other trails that we haven't done. So let's go on this way, see what we find. Boy, I tell you, after hiking up that mountain, this is, this is, uh, it feels good to be on this trail, especially this with no rocks, no roots. So, all right, let's keep going. Don't know if you can see over here, but we've got a mountain biker on Champion Road. Uh, and then uh, I just wanted to get you a look down the mountain. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So we're just moving on. Just wanted to get that look down the mountain. You know, boy, I tell you, that is a, that is a tremendous view. All right. And, you know, of all the trails I've hiked here on Liberty Mountain, I'd say I'm... I'm enjoying this one probably more than any trail. I mean, because of the tremendous view that we have. And plus, the, you know, the, the, it's nice and flat and uh, not too hilly, not too rocky, not too many roots to step on. I mean, not no leaves to hike through. I mean, this is, uh, boy, this is, this is just, I mean, I tell you, after some, some rough hiking since I've been here, this is, uh, this is a pleasure just to be on this uh, 1971 trail. So uh, we'll get a video when, when, we, when we finish off the 0.6 miles and figure out where we're going next. So in previous videos, I kept seeing these orange things out here in the woods and I would say, what is that? But then, uh, I don't know if you recall, in, well, Tuesday, I guess. Uh, anyway, I can't remember what day that was, but anyway, there was a sign about ROTC and I'm about 90% certain that those are there for uh, navigation. They're probably markers that they have to uh, check off as ROTC members from, from Liberty, uh, you know, to get to those markers. And that's, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why they're out here in the middle of the woods. So, you know, but anyway, I just wanted to let you know about that. So look at this trail. I mean, isn't this great? Now we're just kind of moving off to the, to the right love it man this is this is awesome back here in the woods you know what's strange is you know hiking around liberty mountain i have not seen hardly any wildlife you know i don't recall seeing a deer i mean lots of squirrels of course but uh not too many birds uh well some, no bears which is good and bad i mean you know i wouldn't mind seeing one from a distance but i'm just uh kind of surprised that i don't really see much back here as I roam around, you know, you'd expect at least to see deer, you know, hiking these trails. But anyway, this is uh, still enjoying this hike, man. This is nice. See what this trail does? I mean, it just keeps you up above the, uh, so it looks like, uh, I think it's gonna wind around on the, onto the other side over here and then loop back. But uh, boy, I really, really enjoying this trail. I'm so glad I came back today to, to do this. Let's keep going. So off to the left here is the Looney, and we've seen that before. And then uh, I guess the 1971 goes up this way. I'm gonna go up there and just see what's up there. So what the trail did, we just came up there, the Looney's down there. So I'm back on Monogram Road and there's peak to peak. So 1971 is going this way. Well, we could go down this road right here. I can't remember the name of it. But I'm gonna just stay on the on the side here and enjoy it. Even though we will be walking next to a road, I'll get you the name of the road as soon as I can see the sign from up here. So the name of that road is Cut 'em Off Pass. <laughs> Don't you love the names around here? Cut 'em Off Pass. Look, it does look like a pass, doesn't it? Yeah, you can almost expect to see a train coming down that road. But this is uh, this is the 1971, just basically hiking next to the Cut 'em Off Pass. So 1971 is bending away from uh, Cut Em Off Pass and uh, got the heart rate up because it's not an easy hike now. We're going up the mountain. Now I did meet a, uh, an, a young lady in the ROTC and she verified that those orange markers are for the, uh, for the ROTC for land navigation. Ooh, all right, I'm gonna put this away. I don't know what the green tape is. Maybe that's somebody marking it. But uh, okay, let's get, oh boy, let's go on up. All right, I ain't gonna lie. 1971 turned into a tough hike here. I mean, I, it's, not, it's not a psychopath, at least it's a little better than that, but coming up the mountain, you can hear them 
got my heart rate up all right let's just keep and look up the mountain here i don't know where i'm going let's just keep putzing along all right this is where you get lost so we came up that and you see a trail going off to the right probably taking you back to the snowflakes i would imagine and then you got a trail going to the left and there's no marker here so i'm going to take the one to the left because i'm i'm into the hike today i don't want to i don't want to cut it short so it is a it, i wouldn't say it's a nice day but the wind was blowing it's kind of a cold day um, but uh, believe it or not all i got is on is a sweatshirt and I haven't even got it zipped up and after hiking up that i'm sweating now okay i'm on the dirty uh dirty something or other i can't remember the, the, the name of we did this one in a, in a previous video because i recognize this this just goes up to the top of the snowflakes so uh, i'm going to hike up there and get on another trail that we haven't done because we know what this does this is just going to take us back uh and it's a tough hike it's next to raptor raptor run i think that's the name of it so i'm just going to go on up here and uh, go out to the parking lot and we'll try to pick up another trail that we haven't done before so i would have to hike all the way down to the parking lot so what i'm going to do instead i got some just up on a ditch i wanted to see if there were any roads or any paths that i could see along the tree line here i don't see anything so rather than hike all the way down let's go down this road a ways i'll probably be able to pick up another trail hopefully get taking me off to the uh to the right um and uh and that way we can get a trail then that we haven't done but well i think we've covered just about all of liberty mountain just pretty good so far with uh, all the videos but uh i'm sure there's trails i haven't seen but anyway let's go a ways down this road and see if we run into something all right, so this is the other side of Psychopath. So it would bring you up to this uh, this road here. And then Raptor Run we've done in the past. Uh, so, but I'm gonna go, to, go down in a ways and then just head over to the right. And then if I don't see anything, we'll just work our way back to the uh, parking lot and, and get, on, get on off of Liberty Mountain. But uh, I'm pretty sure I've done this in a previous video. So just coming down, basically coming down this road. So I'm just hoping something's going to go off to the right. Well, I know I haven't done this. This is Raptor Run. This, the, the footing is extremely treacherous. Basically going straight down the side of a mountain. I would never want to do this without a walking stick. Uh, and it's, uh, boy, I tell you, it's going to be a tough hike coming back up this mountain because it looks like I'm going all the way down to the bottom down there. And yeah. You know, I prefer going up to going down, but I did come here to get some exercise today, so I guess uh, I'll have to hike back up this. Not this, I'm hoping to get another trail. So, you know, sometimes you look over and you think, is that a trail? That Well, that'd be the, uh, that's that dirty thing right there. I'm just hiking. But shoot, I'm going to go over there and hike that. I, I, I bet that's more fun than the, going down this road. Let's go over there and hike that. So I couldn't remember the name of it, Dirty Ridge, and we, we got a video of that trail, and, well, this is Cut em Off Pass. Hmm. Well, good. You know what? I just want to take it easy for a minute, so let's go a ways down Cut em Off Pass. This is kind of what it looks like, and, uh, and there's a Dirty Ridge going that way. So I don't, I don't think I've hiked this uh, Cut em Off Pass before, but should run us into some other trails uh, at some point, and uh, and then I'll make a right and head back to the uh, the Snowflex, uh, hopefully, because I don't want to. I'm getting a little tired at this point. Let's just put it that way. So now we got a dilemma. Cut em Off Pass is going on this way. And we got something going this way. I'm gonna go this way. I don't know what's not marked, but let's see where this goes. So that brought me over to Falwell Road. And we've already got a video of Falwell Road. Got somebody hiking over here. I can see them in the woods. And uh, we'll call it a day. So that's it for this video. Uh, I'll do the mantra. I'm trying to think of a new mantra because I guess, uh, well, it, Unless you listen to fight that fucking idiot Fachi, uh, pretty much uh, I think everybody's realizing that uh, the, there's the uh, COVID. Well, I guess the CCP virus is just about over because even the Democrats are lifting their restrictions. That's hard, hard for them to do, man. 
thought I'd get a quick view of the uh, university. Man, I tell you, when growing up as a kid, I didn't remember the wind blowing so much. Maybe, I, maybe that's because I was in school all day. Look at the size of that football stadium now. That thing's monstrous. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go look at the uh, trail map. I want to see if it, I help. We may have hit everything. I don't know. There's a guy over here looking at it. Let's take a look. So I was wrong. We've done quite a bit. We've done this uh, trail too far. I've been hearing gunfire, and here's Gun Range Road, so I guess there's a gun range over here. I might try to drive over there, see if I can find that. I don't know where to... Here's the, here's the disc golf course. We saw that and on our way to Hideaway Lake, and we took trail too far across there. Uh, I'm trying to find the road. You are here, so Candler's, just take Candler's Mountain Road to... Uh, well, this is a restricted area. Maybe that's only for students, probably. Everything else is only for students. So uh, we've done Champion Road. You can see where that comes down to. We didn't we didn't get all the way down, but uh, we did most of it. Now, here's what I think the next hike should be. Um, we could come down. Uh, well, not take a dirty ridge. I, I like this deer trail, but well, I guess we could do this section of psychopath. Uh, then that'll take us into Deer Trail, and then from Deer Trail, get on to Split Decision. And look at Split Decision, man. You're going way out here. We haven't done that. And that would take us up to Horton's Loop and then back into uh, Monogram Road. Actually, we were. I don't remember where we were. I thought I saw Split Decision on another trail. But anyway, I think it was on, oh, it was, Ch it was Champion Road. Yeah, because it crosses Champion Road. Remember, we so we hiked past that on Champion Road. We didn't have much further to go to get the whole thing in. But uh, that'd be that'd be interesting. Come down Deer Trail, hit Split Decision. Now, we know Split Decision just goes on down by that construction site over here. Uh, by the way, that's an expansion of the lake. And then it comes way out over here and then up to Horton's Loop. And then that's, that's up to Monogram, back up to Monogram Road. Okay, so we got another hike. That's a, that'd be a long day right there. That seems good enough to me, but I would like to get way out of here. Look at these. I, I guess, I don't know how to get to Flames Road. Huh, because we came all the way to the end of Monogram Road because we went up to the gazebo. And uh, I remember trying to, I thought it went up to the top of the mountain. Maybe it just keeps on going and we could get onto, I don't know. I'll have to look at my map when I get home. But I don't remember Monogram Road continuing on this way because it'd be nice to get way out here. Split Fork Road, Dead End, dead end Alley, uh, Split Fork, and then a Walk in the Park. The Walk in the Park looks like a good hike there too. I don't remember if we've been on, I don't think we've been on that. All right, so we've got some hiking left. Peace out and stay free. And uh, it'd be good to get back to the free Republican state of Florida where we are free to come and do as we please, unlike in a Democrat state, and we got low taxes. So if you're a Democrat, move to New York, move to California, you like your high taxes, you like your, uh, your other things, and uh, we don't want you in Florida. As for dog, don't you? Talk to y'all later, bye-bye. Well, I was just driving around, and uh, I saw this little road off to the right because I was thinking how do you get to those other trails you know on the other side of the mountain so it says this is monogram road and I don't see maybe that's monogram road going this way I don't know let's get over here and look at this sign hold on now, let's see we've got uh, two trails here it's oh flame road so there's flame road I was wondering where in the heck flame road was okay so that's flame road and then that's 1.3 miles, and then we got Bob, Bob sled right up there. So let's go over and look at the uh, the trail map real quick, huh? I, 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 all of the years I've never didn't even know this parking lot was here. Looks like everybody else doesn't know it's here either. <laughs> There's no cars here. All right, so let's see the Bob sled. It's only 0.4 miles. Let's. I'm trying to find it. There's Flames Road. Uh. Dead end alley. Are you seeing Bob Sled? I'm not seeing it. You are here. Oh, there, there, we, there we go. So, uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, anyway, at least we found uh, Flames Flames Road. So that would and should take us up. Well, look, this could be Bob Sled right here with its dotted line. I don't know. We just have to come back and hike it and see where it goes. 
Well, look at this, man. We're on a whole other side of the mountain. I'm glad I've just decided to drive around a little bit. So, man, we got a couple of good, good hikes coming in. There you go.